Good day everyone. Morning, afternoon, whenever. Welcome to another episode of Bedford's Garage, except this time instead of me doing cool things to my truck, I'm fixing it. Which I am not all that great at, but it's uh, hopefully not going to be horribly involved. Um, it's uh, a little rainy out this afternoon, so I've kind of pulled the front end into the garage. This is in case you can't tell by looking at it, I can't quite fit the entire truck in here, so I can at least get the get the engine bay in here and keep out of the rain uh, for as long as it takes me to do this. But it started misfiring on me yesterday morning. So, and I had I went to an auto store and got it scanned. It's cylinder four that's misfiring. Um, truck is right at 72,000 miles. Just got it a few weeks ago. Um, and the gentleman there told me spark plugs are supposed to be replaced every 75, so the spark plugs was option number one as far as, you know, the potential fix to the misfiring issue. Um, the second one is the coils. I can't remember exactly what it was, but the spark plug is a cheaper option and something that would need to be done anyway about this time of mileage. So. I'm going to start with that and who knows, maybe we get lucky and that's all it is. We'll see. Uh, but I'm going to dive on in. Fortunately, this engine bay is pretty clean. I don't know what I'm going to find when I open up this cover back here. I don't know how clean it's actually going to be underneath there. They looks like they detailed it pretty well at the dealership before I bought it. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on under there. A few moments later. It is literally just a couple of minutes later. I, I just opened up the the compartment where the spark plugs are and the coils and everything and replaced the one spark plug in cylinder four, which is the one that had been misfiring, and decided to just go ahead and close the hood and take it for a test drive and see if it was as easy as that. And it turns out that it was. <laughs> I was able to, I couldn't tell while just revving it here in the, in the uh, driveway. So I read, went out. Um, like pulling pulling the trailer home earlier today, I was going up a long, gradual hill. What are you doing? <laughs> Go inside. You don't need to be out here right now. It's wet and nasty. Uh, pulling the trailer home today, I was not even able to maintain the speed limit of 55 going up a pretty gradual incline uh, on the highway uh, shortly before getting to my house uh, and even without pulling the trailer it was still if I accelerated much above like 2500 rpms it would start skipping and I was able as soon as I turned down on the main road out here I floored it and was able to jump it up to like 5000 never skipped a beat so it was as easy as that little eight dollar spark plug <laughs> I'm gonna hold off and replace the other five tomorrow because it's it's not horrible, but it's you know mid 40s and rainy, which is why I'm still standing here in my garage instead of out there showing you what I did. Uh, but tomorrow it's gonna be in the 60s and sunny, so I will do the other five when I get home from work tomorrow, and I'll check back in then. And then I also have a couple other things that came in to do, both. Um, I got one one new little thing for the new truck and also something that's part of fixing the old truck which we're trying to get ready to sell and I'll give you the quick for it, this may bore everybody but you know trying to do trying to get more content out for you guys even if it's just daily vlog type stuff um, but anyway I'll check back in tomorrow when it's much nicer out and we'll keep working on vehicles all right, so it's actually like four days later. I think it was Tuesday night when I did the spark plug replacement issue. And I said I was going to do it the next day when it was supposed to be nice. And then for the next or for the last three days, it has been cold and rainy. So I have not messed with the spark plugs yet. However, it's been super nice out today. So I spent the whole, whole afternoon outside, quite literally, since about, right about noon. Uh, doing spring cleaning in the trailer, uh, my work trailer. It's a little. It's almost 6:30 now. I've got a lot of stuff that needs to be put away that I pulled out of the trailer. Uh, so the shop is a little, a little disorganized, but it's not bad because I've been working on keeping it cleaner lately. So it's not too bad. And uh, kids are out here painting. Wow. but that's okay. Yeah, that's so pretty. This is not a real cloud. 
Your cloud. Nice. That's my meat pizza. And yep. that's my rainbow. Pizza that's my ice cream. That's my butterfly. I that's see my all that. I and that's my pizza. You just making a big glob, Holly? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know what you're making. <laughs> it's okay. It's still, it's still pretty. Oh, well, the trailer looks the best it's looked in a long time. It's, I mean, I, I did the, not only did I, I didn't really mess with anything up on those front shelves. It's about the only thing I didn't mess with because they're not too terrible right now. Uh, but I went, I did the whole nine yards that I do maybe two, two times a year, honestly, trying to get better at it. But got on here with the vacuum, completely cleaned off this whole side shelf, which all of our sustainers are on. Pulled each one off and vacuumed them off, vacuumed off dust collects, you know, and all the little mortises here for the feet of the sustainers to sit in so they don't slide off the shelves. Uh, I pulled everything out down here, all the bands, everything off these shelves. I actually, this drawer didn't have any dividers in it, so I actually made some dividers and put them in it today. Um, this drawer has been broken for a while. I'm waiting on some replacement parts from my brother to fix that one. And then I also didn't mess with these two. Still need to work on them a little bit there. Nothing wrong with them. I just need to clean them up. But pulled out everything on the floor. Like all of this stuff came out of where it belongs. And I vacuumed. So it's the floor of the trailer is actually clean for a change. And uh, yeah, looking looking pretty good overall. Uh, I know I've showed, I know I've showed you guys the inside of here a few times, um, just various things like when I did and I put these light strips in earlier last year and you can go check out that video if you haven't seen it and you want to see it. Um, I don't remember when I uploaded that, sometime last fall probably. But if there, I know some, some people that watch these videos probably are into, I don't know if there's other people who are do construction for a living like I do, or if you just like you know hobby woodworking construction remodel home remodeling home project type stuff i would i'd be happy to do a actual tour of the trailer as it were show off all the all the tools that i have on here that we've built up over the course of however long i've been been i've been running a crew for probably about five years at this point close to it four or five years and our our business runs three crews two to three crews my brother is transitioning to more of a uh business business development side so he's not running a crew as often anymore but this is still more or less we're running two crews of two to three people right now uh and then we have the ability to run third if we need to depending on what's going on but all that to say i'd be happy to do a trailer walkthrough video sometime if if that's something that people would enjoy seeing uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see that and Yeah, that's about it. I've spent quite literally my whole afternoon out here in the trailer and I'm waiting for it to get a little bit darker. It's still uh, now that now the daylight savings time finally hit It's even though it's six o'clock or so, six thirty. It's still still plenty bright out um but I actually have new interior lights for my truck, the new truck, that I'm gonna put in in a little bit once it gets brighter and you can actually, or excuse me, once it gets darker and you can actually see see the difference they make. And we've got new, new headlight bulbs for the old truck because one of the headlights is out. You're goofy. So for right now, I'm probably, you know what? We'll just go down and look at the old truck. We'll go. We'll go swap out those headlights, and I'll sh give you the quick rundown on what uh, what I have fixed so far in the old truck. And then I'm actually going over to planning to go um, either to my dad's house or to a friend in, who lives in his neighborhood that actually has a car lift in his garage. And we're gonna try to see if there's anything we can do about the exhaust before we try to sell it soon. So we can we're trying to trying to get rid of that thing soon. But uh yeah, let's go let's go work on the old truck for a minute. So I had done a lot of upgrades to this truck. Some some were a good idea, some were probably just me trying to trick it out a little bit. <laughs> um and I have been taking a few of them off because I think they've been causing problems with this thing. 
So I'll, I did a lot of this uh, last weekend. I think I messed with a lot of this. I had one of those little LED strips that ran along underneath the tailgate. And I also had some LED lights. They were tacked up right underneath here on the trailer hitch. That's actually the housing for one of them right there. And I had wired that into the reverse light in the tail light. So when I put the truck on reverse, the LED lights would come on and it would actually light up the trailer ball a lot better, uh, which I'm actually probably going to do again on the new truck because it's super helpful hooking up trailer at night. Uh, Cause I have, you know, both trucks have reverse cameras, you know, backup cameras and so you can see what you're doing. Um, but there's been a few issues. One, and I had hoped that taking both of those out was solved. Basically with this truck, it'll, the alarm, if it's locked, if you lock it with the remote, it will just randomly, the alarm will start going off. And I thought maybe it had to do with some electrical stuff that I've messed with. Apparently it's not it because it did it again the other day after I replaced the battery and had taken these out. And the reason I had to place the battery is because I had put an aftermarket remote start in it and there was a parasitic draw on the batteries and somewhere in that system because when I did it back in 20, 2018 or 2017, within a week or two of doing it, the truck died on back-to-back -back weekends and I had to jump it with my wife's car. And ever since then, it gets low. Like when it's cold, it's really hard to start. So, and then after, once I got the new truck and it had been sitting for a couple, sitting for a couple weeks without being driven, it had completely drained the battery. I was actually out here in the front yard where I've got it parked right now and the horn went off and it like, it beeped really loud one time and then it was like, like it just completely died and the truck was dead. Um, so, replaced the battery, took out the entire, that entire remote start system and... I think that's the most of the, the big stuff that I I did, I've done on it so far. Um, like I said, we're not gonna mess with any of this rust stuff. This is, again, a little close up on the driver's side, which is obviously pretty bad. And this side is actually probably worse. Um, bigger, bigger hole on this side. Which again, is something that I'm super thankful for or that will not happen on the new truck because the new truck is an aluminum body. So it won't rust out like that. But I'm gonna go show you one thing on the new truck and then I'll show you the same thing on the old truck as to why it's one of those just future issues that we're gonna have with it basically. And uh, yeah, still haven't finished the spark plugs. I got I got uh, sidetracked on all the trailer stuff today, but I'm gonna do, probably gonna do that, finish the spark plugs tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to be even, even warmer tomorrow than it was today. But I don't know if you can see it, but that, that engine i think that's an engine mount down there it's either an engine mount or a frame like a frame rail mount or something and it's got them on both sides of course um there's another one down there but you can see just the overall general lack of rust and all that kind of stuff going on here in the engine compartment just anywhere so now i'm going to walk you down to the old truck and show you what the old truck looks like so, same exact engine, pretty similar, only two years apart in age. And you can just start to see some things like that down there that's rusty, that's not on the other one. Just, you know, more things like that, which is, I think that's the, the um, steering wheel, you know, arm, shaft, whatever. But that same, same engine mount thing right there looks like that on the old truck and it's pretty much the same on both sides uh it's actually not quite as bad on this side potentially but not much better again yeah all just problems because of being up in salty road conditions in new york for the first three years before i bought it so yeah just a lot of things like that that are rusting out and we're, are gonna have to be replaced by somebody who is more uh mechanically sound than i am and wants to do it themselves and save themselves the money, <laughs> which is not me, because <clears throat> that's more. That's you know, I'm a, I'm in over my head with all that. But let's go ahead and swap out these headlights real quick. So I'll go ahead and turn them on and show you what they look like right now. Yeah, I did. I did new units, like new headlight units. Man, I hope I hope my face isn't super washed out. I can't tell, but. 
I did uh, aftermarket headlight units a couple years ago. So they look really cool when they work. I had one of the LED rings go out, so I got a replacement set. But they look pretty cool. They've got the little three accent lights up there in the right, top right, or top left, depending on which one you look at. But that's obviously headlights on, and this right side, or this left side, excuse me, is out. So, and they're just basic, probably, you know, warm white, 30, 3700, you know, 3000, somewhere in that range, um, light temperature. So I got a, uh, a four pack of some new lights for both the headlight and the tail light, the or headlight, for both the headlight and the uh, high beam, the low beam and high beam. They use the same, the same bulb for both. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in real quick and should look a lot better. All right, that only took about 10 minutes or so. So here we go. It's not quite as noticeable on camera as it is in real life, but there's definitely, they're definitely wider than they were and uh, on both high beams and low beams. That's, that's high beams. There, it's obviously washing the light out quite a bit because it's so bright, but considerably wider than it was. So in theory should be better light. So now that we, uh, now that we got that knocked out, let's uh, go jump in the new truck and do the new interior lights. All right, well it turns out Amazon doesn't always know what it's talking about when it says that a particular item will fit your truck. This is the first time I think of all the items that I've ordered for vehicles over the years that did not work. Um, the, <sighs> Seems like they made it super hard to upgrade both of those lights on this truck. On the other one, like I said, like there's actually a kit you can get on Amazon, which is a complete light kit for, I'd like on my old one, a 2013 F-150, comes with the three, the two or three different lights you need up at the map light section, the two in the back, the, no, it's two lights up front, three in the back, then, the uh, license plate frame, like it's a whole selection. It's like all the bulbs you need. This one, they're all special fancy modules, like the one in the back, the the rear dome light in the, the, the back seat of the truck is an entire module, which I don't think anybody just did a little bit of quick Googling. Nobody makes those to, you know, other than the, the factory OEM um, replacements. And then it's an actual little tiny LED strip module thingamajigger, not a bulb. It's for up front. So I'll get those eventually. Uh, not tonight though, because it is. it will be nice to have brighter light in there. And also newer, yeah, a few other, few other things I'm probably gonna get after doing some quick research. But I'm gonna go inside now. It's been, uh, yeah, I've been out here all day long. So I'll check back in tomorrow. Uh, probably won't film any while we're messing with the old truck because it's going to be boring and possibly a waste of time anyway. No one cares to, no one's going to care to watch us just fiddle around with that rusty piece of crap and trying to figure out how to fix it. <laughs> um, but I am going to try to do the um, finish the spark plugs on the new truck tomorrow. So I get that knocked out and yeah i will be back sometime tomorrow all right back out here the next day next morning working on spark plugs so i hadn't actually showed you guys what the uh there we go i hadn't actually showed you guys what the jacked up one looks like this is what a good one looks like it's nice and shiny and white the ceramic here is not cracked and obviously looks nice and new and this is the old one, the one that had actually gone bad. So the ceramic is still fine, but this edge right here just seems to be uh, pretty, pretty beat up. Um, I don't know. I don't know honestly what, I haven't pulled the rest of them out yet. So we'll see how this one compares to the other five once I pull it out. Um, I think I mentioned that I had misfiring issues on the other truck a year or two ago. I can't remember how long exactly. It had to be last year probably. And I think it was two of them that actually this white part, this white ceramic part was actually cracked. Like it had gone, it, they had like completely failed. And that was causing some major misfiring issues. And cause I know my mechanic put in new spark plugs among a few other things uh, that 
he were, he did at that point on the truck because it was having a lot of problems around then. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap all these out real quick and see. I, I'm kind of curious to see how the other five compared to the one that had actually gone bad as far as what they look like. But I'll be back in a second because no one wants to sit here and watch uh, watch me pull out all these plugs. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, knocked that out. Got all the spark plugs replaced and the cover back on, engine cover back on. So here, I can't really tell much of a difference, but just for sake of showing you. So this is the bad one, the one that I replaced uh, earlier last week. And then these four, I dropped the other one down in there. You can actually see it, I think. Uh, I'll try and get that out at some point. Uh, but these four are the other ones that weren't bad, but they're definitely worn, so. Probably a good thing I replaced them since they were gonna need to be replaced anyway. So I am probably just gonna keep messing around in the shop for a little bit. I'm going over to my dad's house in an hour or two to work on the old truck, so until then, I'm probably just gonna work on cleaning up all this stuff out here, trying to get things put away and organized. I been spending a lot of time out here lately now that it's warmed up and it's actually enjoyable to be out here but I've been trying to working on towards getting the shop under control and trying to keep it that way which is the real kicker so I'll probably just go ahead and end this video here uh because no you guys don't probably don't care about watching me clean up my shop because i do that so often that i if i if i'm filmed every time i cleaned up my shop that would be in like every other video and i'm not going to do that to you guys <laughs> so Especially because it's just the same stuff over and over and over. Nothing cool, nothing exciting. But let me know if you guys enjoy watching these kind of daily vlog style uh, vlogs. I, I've decided, you know, with between working on the stuff in the truck and the trailer and the shop, like, you know, just I'm trying to trying to make videos and get content out there for those of you that watch it. So let me know down in the comments if you like seeing this kind of stuff or if you'd rather just see, you know, fishing videos or me building something, projects around the house, whatever. Um, figured it'd be fun to try to get some of these daily vlog type stuff out there in the on the channel for people who would care to enjoy it. So I'll look forward to hearing your feedback. And until next time, I don't even know what we're gonna be doing. I don't know what I'm doing next. I got uh, trying to get rid of the old truck. The, the, my main priority right now is getting the old truck sold. Once that's sold, we'll. Uh, you if you remember from like around christmas time when i said we were going to be painting the basement the entire week of uh for our christmas we we did not just not not that that should surprise anybody but that's why that video has still not come out yet because i've been working started working on it for a while and then we stopped for about two months so we'll get back on that and i'll finish that video at some point so whenever that video comes out you're gonna see you know me with hair uh, you know a whole lot more hair than i have now so, but it's, uh, you're actually probably going to see a lot of that the next, next month or two, a lot of, uh, older videos of me with much longer hair. Um, you may have seen some already at this point, depending on when this video gets uploaded. I'm not sure, but just, yeah. Anyway, enough rambling. This is, this is a long outro longer than usual, <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and We'll see you back on the channel with whatever we end up doing next. Thanks.